Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be reading you a story and the story is called Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion. So that is our title. And then our authors down here, Alex Smith, located here in the bottom of the book. This is our front cover and then we have our back of our book. So from looking at the front cover of the book, what do you think that the book is going to be about? What do you think the story is going to be about? And you can also look at the back. There's no words on the back, just a picture. So let's see. I see a lion and I see a little girl and her little goat right here at the bottom. Okay, let's read. So this is Little Red. Today she's going to be gobbled up by a lion. This is the lion. Well, that's what he thinks is going to happen anyway. One hot morning, Auntie Rose woke up covered in spots. There was only one thing for them, spot medicine. Ring, 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 ring. Oh dear, oh dear, said Little Red when she heard the news. I'll come right away. So she put some spot medicine in her basket and waved goodbye to her daddy. So there she is with her little basket. It was a long way to Auntie Rose's house. Little Red walked under giraffes and over the sleepy crocodiles and past the chattering monkeys. She crept around the termite mounds and under the leaping gazelles. Then she caught a ride on an elephant. So here she is on top of an elephant. Um, she wiggled her way around the hippos and warthogs and waved hello to the meerkats. So there's the warthogs and the hippos playing in the mud. And then the meerkats are right there in the very bottom of the page. Then she sat down in the shade of a shady tree. And that's when the lion arrived. The very hungry lion. So do you guys think she noticed the lion right there? It doesn't look from this picture like she noticed the lion was behind the tree. Oh, hello, purred the lion. Where are you going? To visit my auntie, who is covered in spots, said Little Red. In the time it took for his tummy to rumble, the very hungry lion had cooked up a very naughty plan. What do you guys think a plan means? What is a plan? Hmm. On this page, he shows us the plan, so let's go ahead and read it. My very clever plan. Um, number one is sneak off to Auntie Rosie's house. Number two is hide her in a cabinet. Number three, dress up as Auntie Rosie. Number four, wait for a bit. Number five, jump up and eat Little Red. Number six, eat Auntie Rosie for dessert. Well done. You are a very clever lion. And he rushed off to put his plan into action. When he arrived, the very hungry lion stuffed Auntie Rosie in a cabinet and locked the door. Then he squeezed himself into one of her nightgowns and covered himself all over in spots. Of course, when Little Red arrived, she realized right away it, was, it wasn't Auntie Rosie sitting in the bed. She quickly looked around and spotted her auntie peeking through a gap in the cabinet. So if you look closely, you can see her eye inside the cabinet. Then Little Red decided that she was going to teach the naughty lion a lesson. Oh, Auntie, cried Little Red, what tangled hair you have. 
and before the very hungry lion could even lick his lips, Little Red had brushed and combed and twisted and braided until the lion had a lovely new look. I see his new hairdo. This had not been part of the lion's plan. So, oh, I'm going to turn my book. He opened his mouth wide. Disgusting, shouted Little Red. What gigantic grimy teeth you have. You have, Auntie. And Little Red made the very hungry lion brush, brush, brush his teeth until they sparkled. Oh, Auntie, sighed Little Red, what an old nightgown you are wearing. And before the very hungry lion knew it, Little Red had found a much prettier dress for him to wear. This had not been part of the lion's plan either. You can see he switched his dress or nightgown. Stop, yelled the lion. I am a very hungry lion and my tummy is growling. Uh-oh. Little Red pointed her finger. Well, trying to eat children and aunties is very naughty. If you were hungry, all you had to do was ask for some food. The very hungry lion let Auntie Rosie out of the cabin and said, Sorry, ever so politely. Little Red gave Auntie Rosie the spot medicine, which worked immediately. Then the three of them gobbled up a whole basket of donuts together. The lion ate five donuts. Soon it was beginning to get dark, so the lion walked all the way back home with Little Red on his very best behavior. He promised to never, ever, ever try to eat another auntie or any children. Hmm, do you guys think he'll keep that promise? But he might be tempted to eat her dad. And then she's pointing at him and saying, no bad kitty. Oh no, so he promised to not eat aunties or children, but he never promised to eat to not eat the dad. The end. It's already nice and dark and there's the moon and they're walking home. So that is the end of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you.